to the Brock Court Show. Here we are again, another night in space. Except this time, we've got a giant cleaning robot to do the work with us. Can't really complain. Everything I've been reading about Sam is that he's a little bit OP, so that's the plan for tonight. Um, get through some more of the main quest line stuff on uh, in the outer worlds. Sorry, my mic twisted the wrong way. Um, yeah, get through uh, a bit more of the outer worlds. Sorry, bear me a sec. Uh, there we are. Yeah, so get through a bit more of the outer worlds uh, main quest line uh, and see what's what there. But there's a couple of things I've been thinking about channel wise, and um, if you will hear on Tuesday, you'll have heard me talking about um, possibly moving over to streaming on. Jesus, quarantine hair is ridiculous. Um, moving over to YouTube to try our hand over at over on YouTube and, and see what the um, what the you know what things are like over there. But I've been reading um, Stream Elements released their monthly state of the game i suppose is the best way of, of describing it um and it outlines you know growth on the channels uh the channels the the, the streaming platforms you know the games that are getting the most traction the games that get the most views most um you know people who get the most followers in those channels etc how many hours are being spent on the various platforms and things and it always makes for interesting reading um but there's a few real standout um pieces the month growth is like 100% across the the entire spectrum so you know there's 100% more people watching and they're watching for 100% more hours this month I mean obviously the current situation is um, a main driver and that'll be interesting to see how that pans out as we go forward as well but it, it's interesting to see more eyeballs on the um, on the streaming space and particularly in the game streaming space as well but it did, it did, it did, it did, it did, and does make some interesting points about um, specific platforms. The one of the real interesting ones is is about Mixer, where we are, and that the um, the growth there has seemed to stagnate a little bit. Um, it doesn't look like the number of hours watched has increased in any uh, meaningful way even with the acquisition of, of Ninja and Shroud and King Gathalian and Ewok and you know the host of other sort of like middle tier streamers that will have come over and obviously I'm not counting any of those streamers as middle tier but you understand what I mean and people who have relatively well established communities and, and size and things that have come over to Mixer as well seeing that there's an opportunity here that doesn't look to have driven um, the, the viewing hours and the viewing numbers up in in the way that you would anticipate particularly the um the ninja and shroud acquisitions I, I was definitely of the opinion that of the you know the top tier guys when it was just twitch was the man you know if you know it was it was ninja summit lyric uh shroud jd um duck disrespect that was the you know that was the pantheon you know, Mixer have acquired a third of that. Courage JD's gone over to um, to YouTube, so basically, you know, you're down to three of the of the really big hitters over on Twitch. But it doesn't seem to have impacted them too much, and the growth on Mixer with the acquisition of Ninja and Shroud doesn't seem to have gone in the direction that I would imagine they anticipated that it would. You know, on the other hand, JD's gone over to. Um, gone over to YouTube and is doing hella numbers. I mean I've seen some tweets about it that you know you're still you're still very much a slave to the algorithm over there and any any you know anytime you're inside of a Google ecosystem you are going to be at the mercy of the of the algorithm and the slight tweaks and changes that um, that impact that. I mean the the work that I do is you know SEO based, web based, etc. Um, so the algorithm is uh, a finicky beast that some, sometimes it gives, sometimes it takes away. So, but someone like the Courage JD is going to do hella numbers anyway. But the point being that you know things here at Mixer don't seem to be growing in the way that many people might have anticipated. 
and initially you know my, my thinking was um we might try our hand over at youtube you know increase discoverability given that the the whole platform is like the second largest search engine on the planet behind normal google search um and we're already posting you know the full vods of, of streams over there as well as well you know as well as like clips and thoughts videos and things so it just seems to make sense to just grow that library out but i've been having another a little think about what i want out of doing this and my view on it is that you know my thing has always been i like games and i like talking about games and i like sharing games with people and letting people know my opinion on games and the games industry and the various bits and pieces that go along with it you know things about the way esports are the growth of esports particularly in the west um streaming platforms you know other people coming into the industry other people coming into the streaming um, environment things like that sports people film stars tv stars etc etc musicians all that sort of stuff and the intersection of those um you know those, those forms of enter- on all, all those forms of entertainment together on on a streaming platform that's always been my real um my real sort of passion when it comes to to games and the games industry and as you'll know obviously i've been yammering on about xenoblade and how excited i am for the uh, the definitive edition to be launched on switch at the end of this month uh, which we have a uh, collector's edition of that ordered and, and to be delivered on the day so i'll be doing a, um, a bit of an unboxing of that as well i'll check that on youtube might do that live on stream we'll we'll see how it goes with that um but it got me to thinking that maybe you know there's a lot of noise in there um in the streaming industry there's a lot of people who want you know want people's eyeballs on their on their content and you know want people to be in their chat talking with them and and, you know viewing their content and consuming their content sharing their content and i think for me just streaming isn't enough to um you know get not even ahead of the pack but to be to you know make a bit of noise a bit of discernible noise within the, the you know the large cacophony of noise that is um video game streaming particularly now that it's much more democratized given that you can stream directly from you know your playstation or your xbox and it's really easy to stream from your pc too um so what i was thinking is going back to sort of my roots of um how I first, you know, tried to get into the games industry, which was I wanted to write about games and review games and, you know, preview games, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That that's what I wanted to do. Um, and you know, I made a little bit of a, a stab at that when I was younger. A few decent gigs as um, a, a freelancer, you know, various um, international websites I've, I've done work for, um, being part of various programs for some bigger name some of the bigger name sites you know i mean ign euro game and kotaku links into those um those publications as well um and i managed to get myself on the one of the freelancer lists for for imagine as well so that's a little bit about where i'm coming from with this and i think the plan is to um start writing about games again and, and start reviewing them and start you know doing written pieces about things that happen in the games industry and things that happen in the streaming industry you know just things that interest me inside of the gaming space and that you know that extends out into um even into the esports sort of um the sphere of esports as it were it's not something that i pay an awful lot of attention to beyond the fact that it's you know the next big thing for um for gaming as a as a whole that you know the more people who view gaming as a legitimate pastime and hobby um i mean career wise now i think game streaming has done a hell of a job in, in making it you know much more legitimate thing for parents particularly um but esports are where there is you know the most potential to grow um huge numbers of people who are you know coming into the um, into the game space and, and convert them into in a fans of, of gaming you know i mean it is a it's a multi 
billion pound industry when it comes to you know sports actual sports you know nfl um, the premier league champions league baseball basketball cricket everything everything um, and the premise is the same people are interested in seeing people perform at the highest level and you know there's a lot of intersection and a lot of um, a lot of people who overlap in terms of their interest in professional sports you know football etc um, who are interested in um, you know competitive play of you know fortnite halo call of duty you know everything i mean the, it's kind of evidenced by the fact that um, a lot of professional footballers just play fortnite almost exclusively or apex legends or warzone or, or whatever um, so there is a little bit of a i reckon that that's where the things are going to go in terms of um of the games industry but i've gone off on a tangent back to the point back to the point back to the point um, the point being that as we go forward i'm going to try and have a stab at reviewing the games that we play on stream so what that means is sometimes when you come back you know we come back to the next part of the stream um we may not be exactly where we were and that will likely be because on non-stream days i'll be you know putting a few hours in and capturing some game footage to use as part of um you know reviews for for the game once once we're finished with it i'll still do my short and sort of 30 45 seconds a minute of um of my thoughts on the game but the idea will be this will be a very high level sort of overview of what i thought and what, what, what my thoughts are at that moment after we finish the game you know my real initial thoughts and i really sort of um, unfiltered um, unrefined thoughts about the game and the way that it worked and so you know you might like say you might see some playthroughs that skip large chunks of um, of content I'll do my best to make sure that if we're playing a story driven game something similar to what we are with the Outer Worlds that I will use the um, our streams to share the the main quest line of, of, of the games um, and then maybe use the off stream time to to play through like side quests and companion quests you know the things that don't have an overall impact on the um, on us getting from point a to point b with the um, with the main quest line of the game and that's pretty much everything now that you know that that's pretty much everything on how i want to um use the channel to share games with you and as many people as possible um you know the overall idea will be we'll use you know the the channel to share games in in real time and we'll you know have video reviews and written reviews so the video review will be um maybe like a slimmed down version of the overall written review that'll be you know gameplay with voiceover on to um post to, to youtube as sort of like evergreen content over there that people who are interested in games and are looking for like you know some insight into some games that um they you know have that there and obviously try and link them over to us here so you can see us when we're when we're live as well but also link them out to the uh to the the written side of things as well so they can see you know a more detailed in-depth granular breakdown of of what my thoughts um on, on certain games are you know this isn't just about whole game reviews either though it will extend into um like thoughts videos about um you know say the current state of where destiny is i'm a big destiny 2 fan um you know destiny plays since the old beta days for d1 um and you know there's a lot of interesting things happening there uh, in terms of the state of the game and you know, where the direction of the game is so there might be things like that as well where you know at the start of the season or the end of a season uh, we talk about the highs and lows things that we enjoyed things that might need refining into the new season and at the start of the season you know talk about not necessarily our expectations but what we hope to see um, as we go forward and those those sorts of you know interesting conversations that we can have together as a you know as a as a group and things that we can share with other people who are finding content out on on youtube and things like that so that's the start of things that's um that's a general direction we'll see how it goes it's um time consuming to say the least to put this sort of stuff together and 
um, you know, you always want to try and make it as high quality as possible. And I'm doing this from sort of the, in terms of the video editing at least, um, a very sort of not basic, but sort of like entry level um, view on it. And you know, I'm going to be working on trying to get a, a decent YouTube intro and an exit card for the for the videos, just to bookend the content that goes up there. Um, and we'll see. We'll see. Um, you know, I'm really interested in it and. I think it'd be a really cool thing to allow us to share what we do here with a lot more people and you know we'll see how things go and try and make the best of it because there's still plenty of games to, to play plenty of games that are going to come out and you know lots to talk about and lots to play and lots to discuss together so that's where we are and this is you know hopefully the start of how we can grow all this together and, and enjoy as many games as possible together for as long as we can.